Hello and welcome, I'm your Code Monkey, and in this video we're going to learn what is JSON, how it's formatted, and how we can use it in Unity to easily save and load data. Let's begin. So, JSON is a lightweight data format that is easy for humans to read and write, but also for machines to parse and generate. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation, but it doesn't necessarily have anything to do with JavaScript. It is a widely used data format with specific rules for creating and reading the data. In Unity, JSON can be very useful for quickly setting up a saved system. Unity by default already has some functions to help you generate JSON from a class and read it back. So let's quickly take a look at the JSON format. JSON is a text format with some simple rules. You have an object represented with opening and closing curly brackets. Inside the object, you can have multiple fields. Each field is composed of a name and its value. The name is a string. Then you add a colon to separate the name from the value. The value can be represented as various things. It can be a string, number, object, array, true, false, or null. And we can store multiple fields by using a comma to separate each field. So in here, I have Notepad open, and let's manually create a JSON object. So first of all, you start open and close curly brackets. Then we type a string for our field name. And in here, let's say it's health. And then we give it a value. So in here, for the value, we want a number, so let's say 80. To add a second field, we add a comma, and then let's say health max with a value of 100. So there you go. This is a very simple JSON file. I have saved it as test.json, and most browsers actually have an easy way to view JSON data. So in here I have opened the file in Firefox, and you can see it displays the fields and the value. If you click in here, you can view the raw data, which is exactly like that. Okay, that's how the JSON format works. Now let's go to Unity and figure out how we can use this. So in here, let's begin by making a script that we can use to test our code. So make an easy share of script and name it game handle. Let's drag it onto an object. Let's add a log to make sure this object is running. Okay, there's a console, our code is running, great. All right, so in here, let's make a simple class. So in here, do a private class and let's name it player data. Now inside, let's make a position and a health amount. So a public vector three for the position and a public int for the health. So this class would represent player data in your game. We would use it, for example, for saving and loading. All right, so now let's go up here to the start and let's create a new instance of player data. So player data, let's set the position to a new vector three, let's say on five zero and player data dot health, let's say 80. Okay, so we have our player data object. Now let's grab the JSON string for this particular object. So in order to do that, we go into JSON utility and use the function to JSON. This function takes an object, which in this case will be player data. And this function returns a JSON string. So let's do a debug.log on that string and see what comes out. All right, there's the output. You can see a position with an X of five, Y of zero, Z of zero, and a health of 80. This is a correct JSON object. So we have successfully converted the data from an object into a string that we can easily use to save and load. So for example, in order to make a very simple save system, you could easily save this JSON string into a file. Now let's look into how we can parse a JSON string back into an object. So in our code here, after we get the JSON string, we can parse it into an object by using JSON utility dot from JSON. This function takes the type of the object that we wish to parse, so in this case, player data, and we're going to send it our JSON string. So this will return a player data object. So player data, let's say loaded player data. So with that, let's print out the contents to make sure that we load it correctly. All right, there it is. The JSON string contains position 500 health of 80, and then we parse the JSON string back into our object, and our object does contain a position which is a vector 3, 500, and health of 80. So you can see we successfully took a player data, converted it into JSON, and then back again into player data. So this is a very easy way to store your game state. 
you would create a class to store the data that you want to save, parse it into JSON, save it into a file, then on load, you would load the text from that file and parse it back into JSON. So let's test that really quick. In here, we have our JSON string. Let's save that into a file. And since JSON is a string, that is very easy. We just have to go up here and do using system.io and then we can go down here and use file.write all text. Let's store into application.datapath plus save file.json and the text that we're going to store is our JSON string. So let's comment out the load for now and see if that file shows up. All right, there you go. We ran our code and you can see that we have a file in here and it does contain that JSON string. So now that we have our save file, let's read that file and parse it back from JSON. So in here, let's comment out the save code. Let's uncomment these. And in here, we're going to grab our JSON string through file.readAllText. And we're going to read exactly from that path that we saved. So go up here and copy this. All right, so that's it. We are reading the text that we saved previously. So let's see that. Yep, there it is, position 500, health of 80, which is exactly what is stored on the JSON file. So we load our player data from an external file and parse the JSON to grab the object values. So there you have it. We learn what is JSON, how it's structured, and how we can use it in Unity to make a very simple save system. As always, you can download the project files and utilities from unitycodemonkey.com. If you have any questions, post them in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. Subscribe for more videos and I'll see you next time.